How to gum up the works to supersize your business. Gum up the works, what the heck? <laughs> gum up the works is a great expression. It means, of course, to cause a machine or a system to break down. It it's, it's when you make something um, go wrong or throw it out or into chaos or confusion. Now, we, we don't wanna throw our customers into chaos or confusion, but it's okay to throw our competition into chaos and confusion, right? That would be a positive way to gum up the works to grow and build our business. Um, but this expression is, is from a time, an earlier time, the 1800s, when lots of inventions were, were being created. And many of those inventions, many of those machines required oil or lubrication to run. But as they ran, dirt and stuff would get into the oil, make it dirty, and it would get thick and sludgy, and it would get sticky, and it would gum up the machines, and the machines would not operate properly. They would actually operate more slowly when they got gummed up than when they first were started or first were invented or were first running. Thus, the advent of preventative maintenance, right? Doing things ahead of time before things break down. That is one way to make sure that you don't gum up the works in your own business and in your own organization. Having contingency plans, having what ifs for when things change or how you're gonna respond when things change is another way to ensure that you're not gumming up the works in your own business or in your own life. Uh, the one thing we can count on in our businesses and in our lives <laughs> is that there will always be change. There will inevitably be changes and things that are unpredictable, things that we can't possibly even imagine. For example, what's going on in our world right now, um, this virus, uh, now maybe there's people, and I would argue as well, that we should have imagined that this was gonna happen, and maybe not this exact thing, but something like it, because we have been getting early warning signs. We have been, you know, we've been dealing with <laughs> smaller pandemics and epidemics for decades, and most of us, me included, have been living um, blithely unaware and unprepared. And so it's it's a very, startling but it's a huge wake-up call to get prepared in our businesses and in our lives for the changes that inevitably come now <laughs> gumming up the works I, I love this expression because I've always been one to push the envelope and do things differently I show up in my bathrobe to do a business video on a business podcast that's definitely gumming up the works in the industry that is very traditional very professional and very this is the way it has to be done right uh, and so I'm no stranger to gumming up the works. My job as a quality professional in some of the biggest corporations in the world was to be the person that would, would say, what are all the things that can go wrong? How might we gum up the works? How might we screw things up for our customers? And what are we gonna put in place to make sure that we don't do that? Uh, to me, it was making things better and, and creating processes and systems that would ensure great experiences and great products and services for our customers. But I'm, I'm sure because they told me many of the other department heads and functions that I had to work with didn't necessarily see it that way. They saw it as, hey, if I have to do this, it's gonna take a little more time in my department before I can pass it off to the next department. And instead of looking at the whole big picture in the process and saying, how can we all work together to make it the best experience for the customer, there, there tends to be this silo effect. The bigger the corporation, the bigger the silo. The silo effect where each department is out to kind of protect themselves on their own turf. I don't know if you've ever experienced that, but I experienced a lot of it in my career, <laughs> especially when you're a function that interacts with everybody. And it's kind of like being the IRS or an, an outside auditing agency. Inside your organization, people kind of look at you that way. And that's okay, I'm cool with that because I know that overall, we got better results because we did the hard things, because we planned ahead, because we did preventative maintenance, because we looked at our processes and systems and made sure that we weren't gumming up the works in any way, shape or form for our customers. And when we found an ex example or an instance of when we were or we could possibly be doing that, we made sure we put things in place to eliminate that. So we were on this continuously improving way of looking at everything that we did that made things better for our customers and made things better for them. So we were on a constant ungumming up the works mission, right? So today I challenge you in this massive time of turmoil and change to ask yourself, how can I help? How can I continue to serve my customers given that what I normally do is probably blown up right now or by now, or if it hasn't in like the next few days, literally, how can you continue to serve people through this time of, 
of change and crisis? How can you continue to do what it is that you do? Or what are new things that you can do? New and different products and services that you can provide people to help them in this situation, to help them through this situation. That's what I'm doing. I am home thinking of what are things, what are our are things that people can do right now, given that their life is thrown up? What are things that they can do with their families at home? What are things that they can do to continue to contribute positively to the economy and to the world um, to keep us on as steady a, a track as possible? Because if a lot of us are doing, and it, it, it falls to entrepreneurs and business owners, if we continue with business as usual as much as possible, or better than usual by coming up with new and more solutions for people for the problems that they're facing right now. That is how we ungum up the works. I would love to know your experience with this expression, if you've used it, if you've been a part of it, the gummer or the degummer. Um, share in the comments below and also share or ask if I can help you in any way with your business. If you're struggling and you're freaking out because your business is being blown up, Take a deep breath and just ask the question, what is the next thing I should do? And you can ask me that question if you're confused and I'll be glad to help you. Any way that I can help people, I am here to serve. And since I'm pretty much uh, stuck at home probably for the next three weeks for sure, because I am in that high risk um, category um, from a health standpoint. So, you know, I got all my family saying, you don't leave the house, you don't go anywhere public. <laughs> We're, um, I'm probably on lockdown for the next few weeks. So any way I can help you, just hit me up and let me know. Have an absolutely amazing day. Try to ungum the works as much as you possibly can for those you love and care about, your family, your customers, those you serve. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you be able to use it to supersize and grow your business? Take care. Bye.